kingdom land. I'm on my way. I'm on my way to the kingdom land. To the kingdom land. I'm on my way. Praise the Lord. I'm on my way. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Let us pray. Oh, gracious Father, we come to you again. Humbly, and we just come seeking your guidance. Mm -hmm. We come first of all, Lord, thanking you for all of the many, many wonderful blessings that you have restored for each and every one of us. Mm -hmm. yes. Realize, Lord, that you stood by us when we didn't stand by ourselves. Yeah. You stood by us when friends, family, and others left us alone. Mm -hmm. yeah. But Lord, we know that you are God, and besides thee, there is no other. Mm -hmm. yes. Then, Lord, we come in the midst of all the trouble that we are facing in this nation. But we still want to thank you for letting things be as well as they are. Yeah. Well, we realize, Lord, that without you, things could be much worse. Yeah. So we pray to God that you continue to hold us in the palm of your hand. Mm -hmm. And we pray most of all, dear Father, that you forgive us for all of our shortcomings. Yeah. For we all have sinned and come short of our glory. Yes. Help us to realize, Lord, that this is a journey that we cannot make by ourselves. Yeah. But, Lord, we need you. We must have you on our side. Yes. But first, Lord, we need to also commit to you. We need to come to you, Lord, and admit that we are sinners that we are seeking a way out of our sin. And yes, Lord, you've told yes. us in your word mm -hmm. that you are the way out of all sin. Yes. And then Lord, you will sustain us and you will keep us. But Lord, yes. you never told us that this journey would be easy. Well. You never told us that we would not have trouble. Well. But Lord, you say, I will be with you no matter what and where, I will be with you. And then yes. Lord, you also say that when you are too weak to walk, well. I will carry you. Amen. So Lord, we help yes. us to lean and trust and depend on you. Mm -hmm. And Lord, we thank you for this community, this state, and this nation. Thank you, Lord, for this church. We thank you for this service. Amen. We thank you for this means of providing service to those who are not able to gather together. Yes. Lord, we ask you to come in the midst, touch our hearts, minds, and so help us, Lord, to realize that if we come together as a people, trusting and believing in you, Amen. there's nothing we cannot overcome. Amen. So, Lord, we come this morning just asking and depending on you. Then we come also thanking you for being such a wonderful, awesome God. We pray to God you just continue to hold us, continue to watch over us, and bless our efforts. In Jesus Christ's name we do pray. Amen. Amen. Anyway, you bless me, Lord. You know I, I'll be satisfied. Anyway, anyway, you bless me, Lord. You know I, I'll be satisfied. You bless my mother. You bless my mother and my father too. Bless my sister. Bless my sister and my brother too. Anyway, anyway, you bless me, Lord. You know I'll be satisfied. Anyway, anyway, you bless me, Lord. You know I, I'll be satisfied. Anyway, anyway, you bless me, Lord. You know I, I'll be satisfied. Bless my mother and my father too. Bless my sister. Bless my sister and my brother too. Anyway, anyway, you bless me, Lord. You know I'll be satisfied. My Jesus, anyway, bear, anyway, the cross, anyway, along, anyway, and all, anyway, the world. My sister and my brother too. Anyway, anyway, you bless me, Lord. You know I'll be satisfied. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'd like to welcome everyone to the Tim Grove Mission.
Missionary Baptist Church mm -hmm. virtual service. Amen. We'll bring this to you each Sunday at 10 o'clock. And with things going on the way they have been here recently, we've been getting excerpts from com comedians, actors, some famous people, some not, telling us about this opening up the state. Well, I like things simple. And I have a thing that I thought about as far as a comparison, an analogy, if you will. Let's say we had a big warehouse down the street that everybody could go in at any time, pick up anything you want, best food, best, best items of all type. Then one day they were infiltrated by bears, just filled up hundreds and hundreds of bears. Mm -hmm. So they closed the warehouse. So now we can't we can't go in this warehouse. Everybody went by there to try to sneak in there. We're eaten up by the bears. One day the politicians noticed from the news reports that there were three bears left the warehouse. Mm -hmm. They thought about that. They said, well, now I think we can go back in the warehouse. Three bears left. Now what I want you to do is think about that. What about those other few hundreds of bears and only three left? Now, are you going back in the warehouse or are you going to stay home? Stay safe. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. As pastor of the Tilly Grove and Sand Hill Church families and to all of you, we are just delighted to welcome you to our services today. We pray that these services will be a blessing to each and every one of you. Our scripture lesson today is going to come from New Testament teaching. From the book of Luke, Luke chapter 14 and verses 25 through 26. Listen at what the writer has to say. Luke chapter 14 starting with verse number 25. And it reads as following. And there went great multitudes with him. And he turned and said unto them, If any man come to me, mm -hmm. and hate not his father, and mother, and wife, and children, and brethren, and sister, yea, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. The word of God or the children of God. As we look at this scripture and particularly verse number 26, it's our hit hard at us, but it is the Lord that is talking to us. And whatever the Lord said is right, and we must abide by that. Mm -hmm. So with that in mind, uplift in verse number 26 this morning, I want to talk to you from the subject. Followers of Jesus Christ. Amen. Followers of Jesus Christ. As we begin this message, we notice that Luke is sharing with us about some concerns that he had about becoming followers of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Now, we need to keep in mind that Luke not only was a follower of Jesus, but he also was a physician. Uh -huh. So he cared about the people from the religious walk and he cared about them from the physical walk. Amen. A man is made up of more than just one thing. Mm -hmm. And it takes that to make the full man. Mm -hmm. But now, in order for us to follow the Lord, there are some things that we have to do. And in the time that we are living, we look around. Wherever you look, there's some trouble there. Yeah. As the old folk used to say, if it isn't one thing, All right. then it's another. Amen. Uh, but if we are following Jesus Christ, then we're going to be all right mm -hmm. by and by. Mm -hmm. And as Luke shares with us today in his teaching, that it is important that we do become followers of Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. As we begin to move into this lesson, the first point that I want to make to you is, Anybody can become a follower of Jesus Christ. Amen. And that's important, y'all, because the devil is running around. And he'll tell you that you cannot become a follower of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. But I need to just stop long enough to tell somebody. You cannot always listen 
at what the devil and all the folks say. Yeah. Amen. And I need to remind us that the devil is talking in these days that we are living. And somebody is listening to yes, sir. it. So when people tell you that you cannot be a, a follower of Jesus Christ, you need to tell them that I got my eyes on the Lord and everything is going to be all right. Mm -hmm. And I need to remind us also, yes, the devil is busy and he's doing all he can to turn us around and keep us from following the Lord. The devil will lie to you. He'll look you dead in the eye and tell you that you cannot make it. Well, but you got to be able to stand against him and tell him, with the help of the Lord, I can be a follower of the Lord. Mm -hmm. You might be able to tell it, so well, I'm not perfect, I made mistakes, but I still can follow the Lord. Because the God we serve, he's a forgiving God, y'all. Mm -hmm. When you make mistakes, you just go before him and ask him to forgive you of your sin. And God will do that today. So I need to start off again by telling you, all of us, can become followers of Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. And as we began to move into the lesson, the second thing that I need to share with you is, this lesson said that there was a large crowd around Jesus. Yes, and I need to just stop long enough again to tell you, everybody in the crowd ain't following Jesus. Uh -huh. In this lesson, everybody that was in the crowd was not following the master. Uh -huh. And even in our churches today, everybody that come to church ain't got their mind on the Lord. Amen. Amen. Everybody that come is not following the Lord. There are different reasons why folk come to church. Uh -huh. There are some that ain't got nothing else to do. So they want to come to church to get something to talk about the next week, y'all. Right. So they come and they talk about you and they talk about me and talk about everybody else, y'all. So everybody in the crowd ain't following the Lord. Mm -hmm. But now, let us not judge them. Let us just make sure that we are serving the Lord. And can I tell you, if you're serving the Lord, it's going to pay off that a while. Yes, we are. And also, keep in mind that everybody coming to church, everybody that says Jesus, Jesus, ain't got their eyes on the Lord. Amen. Amen. Many of us are looking some places that we ain't got no business looking, y'all. But I'm here to tell you, in order to follow the Lord, you got to focus your eyes on the Lord and keep them there. Uh -huh. Because there will be some winds that will blow in your life. And if you're not, you do not have your eyes fastened on the Lord, then the winds will pull you from side to side. Mm -hmm. And I'm here to remind us today, just because the crowd ain't following the Lord, that doesn't mean you and I can't follow the Lord. Yeah, well, listen at Matthew 7 and 21. Not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Uh -huh. But he that does the will of my God, Amen. which is in heaven. And that's what it's all about, doing the will of the Lord. Yes, and the Lord wants us to become followers of him. Then I look back again and I see something else. In order to be a follower of Jesus Christ, Jesus must come first in you like. Amen. Many of us want to follow him, but we want to put everybody else ahead of the Lord. Mm -hmm. But I'm here to tell you, you cannot put everything and everybody else ahead of the Lord and be his followers. Amen. We got to put him at the forefront. Mm -hmm. So well, well, doesn't that sound a little hard and a little harsh? It might does sound a little hard and a little hard, but that's the way the Bible says it is. Amen. We got to put him first. Yes. And when we put him first, then we got somebody that will stand by our side. We got somebody that will fight those battles with. We have to go on the mountain top. Yes. But you got to put him first, y'all. If he's not first, he is not going to be like. Mm -hmm. So we just have to make up our mind that I'm going to put the Lord first. I see him hear somebody say, wait, wait, Red. I'm a married man. What about my wife? What about my children? What about my mom and dad? All right. They are important. But you need to put God ahead of everything. Amen. Amen. And if we learn to put God ahead of everything, then we'll be all right on down the road. Yes, sir. Matthew 6 
And verse number 33 says, But seek ye the first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness yeah. and all of these things shall be added unto you. Uh -huh. You got to put it first, y'all. Yeah. I, 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 I sort of hate to take, but God is a jealous God. Yeah. Yeah. So if he can't be first, he definitely not going to be like yeah. that. Well, well. Then I see this writer sharing something else about following Christ. In following Christ, you got to deny yourself. Yes, sir. Right. And that's what we don't like to do in days like this, y'all. Uh -huh. We want to have it our way, do it our way, and go like we want to go. Yeah. No, in serving the Lord, it does not work like that. Yeah. Many of us are quick to say, well, the way I see, mm -hmm. well, I think it ought to be this. I think we should go this way. Uh -huh. If it does not line up with the word of God, uh -huh. then you're wrong. Yeah. 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 So here he's telling the Lord, you got to deny self. You got to step back sometimes and say, Lord, what would you have me to do? And how would you have me to go? Yes, sir. And when you're able to step back and do that, then the Lord will come in and he will take control of your life and he will lead you in the right direction. Just wonder, do I have anybody? That feel like following the Lord today. Uh -huh. And again, remember, you got to deny yourself. Take up your cross and follow the Lord every day. Yes, sir. Romans 14 and 8 says, For whether we live, we live unto the Lord. And whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. Whether we live there or die, we are the Lord. Yes, sir. If anybody belong to the Lord, if you are following him today, then you belong to him. Then I look back and I see another point here. Well, in order to follow Christ, you must be totally committed to the Lord. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, you see, even the old folks say, they used to sing a song, 99 and a half ain't good enough. Well, well. And that's the way it is following the Lord. 99 and a half ain't good enough, y'all. We got to be totally committed to serving the Lord. And I can imagine somebody saying this morning that, well, I make some mistakes in my walk with the Lord. I do some wrong things. I said some wrong things. Yes, all of us are guilty of that, y'all. And that's why we have prayer, so that we can go to the Lord and admit that we have made some mistakes. But when you make those mistakes, then you got to turn around and give the Lord everything that you got. And when you turn around and be totally committed, then you can walk with the Lord. You can hear and say, well done, thy good and faithful servant. Well, I'm here to remind you, y'all, you just can't serve him on Sunday. Then the rest of the week serve somebody else. You got to be totally committed all the week long. Yes, sir. Amen. And you got to hold on to his hand. Right. And there's a scripture that says, Be ye followers of me, even as I also am a Christ. Talking about following the Lord. To help us keep our minds on the Lord and to continue to follow the Lord. There's a reward in there for somebody else. Uh -huh. If we just follow him, there's a blessing in that. And I don't know about you, but this morning I stand in need of a blessing. Yes. So my mind is well made up mm -hmm. that I am going to follow the Lord well. because he has been good to us. Well. And all we need to do is look back over our lives yeah. and see where the Lord has brought us from. Well. And when you look back, you will discover that the Lord be good to you. Uh -huh. You ought to be able to say, I'm going to follow the Lord and that my mind is well made up. Mm -hmm. You can look back and say, well, when I was sick and the doctor turned it back on me, uh -huh. the Lord raised me up all my sick bed. Yeah. Then somebody is able to say, well, when I didn't have no money in my pocket, uh -huh. and 
and I had a bill due. The Lord made a way for you to pay that bill. Yes, sir. There's somebody can look back and say, I can remember I didn't know where my next meal was coming from. Uh -huh. But some kind of way, the Lord gave me a meal after a meal. Yes. I don't know about you, but my mind is made up that I'm going to follow the Lord. There's somebody got a testimony. I've been sick and I didn't know if I was going to get well, uh -huh. but Dr. Jesus raised me off of my sick bed and look at me now. You ought to want to follow the Lord. Is there anybody here that said, I had troubles everywhere around me, but I trusted and followed in the Lord and I heard the old church say, he's a battle light yes, in the time of battle. If you just follow the Lord, it'll be all right by and by. Yes. He might not come when you want him to go, but I'm here to testify. He'll be dead on time. Do I have anybody that got the mind made up for the Lord I live and for the Lord I die? I'm gonna serve him anyhow. If I got to serve him by myself, he been good to his children. I've been there for us yes. all the time. Thank you, Jesus. So we ought to follow the Lord. Yeah. And I tell you, it will pay off yes, it will. by and by. Well, yes. Let us follow the Lord mm -hmm. in times like this. Amen. Eternal Father, we come this morning to thank you for your children and everywhere. Well, and we ask that you lead us and that you guide us in the way that you would have us to go. In times like these, Father, we cannot make this journey by ourselves. We just ask that you bless mankind everywhere, Father. Just lift us up when we need lifting up, Father, and give us encouragement when we need encouragement. Yeah. And Father, we're going to praise you tonight, and we're going to follow you until you say, well done, yeah. thy good and faithful servant. Yeah. In your name we do pray. Now may the grace of God and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit and the love of Jesus Christ go and abide with you wherever you go. This is our prayer. Amen. Amen.